Hey guys, uh, today is the 12th of November, 2014, and I am five days post up. Um, yeah, I've just gotten home. This is the first time I've been home since I was in hospital. Um, I went in on the Friday. Um, I left on the mon Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Sunday, Monday, the I left. Um, and went and stayed with my parents for the last three nights. Um, and I just came back to the city today to get my um, beautiful drains out. Which is, I'm feeling a lot freer without them in my armpits. They were really unpleasant. Um, yeah, see, so I didn't even really know where to start. Um, I guess I'll start at the start. So on Friday morning, um, and originally my parents were going to take me, but they couldn't, so I, my friends Lara and Pei, I know you guys watch this sometimes, so thanks, um, took me into hospital very early in the morning, I had to be there at like 6 o'clock or something, um, and then they just like showed me my room, and um, I got dressed into this beautiful white gown, and paper underwear, and a big bathroom that was clearly meant for someone 15 times my size. Um, and just hung around really until I went into surgery. I wasn't really anxious at all going in. I don't know why, like I was anxious the night before, um, but I wasn't when we got there. And I literally, yeah, I walked myself into the operating room, like they didn't wheel me in or anything. I, like wandered in and sat down and went to sleep. Um, came to and the first thing I asked the nurse was, can I have a cup of coffee? And she said no. <laughs> um, she gave me 30 ml of water, which I didn't think was a particularly fair trade, but that's okay. Uh, and yeah, I spent most of that afternoon with my friend Lara just chatting and I felt pretty good when I, come, when I came out of surgery. Like I felt I was definitely in pain, but I had a general uh, local anesthetic on my chest, so I couldn't really feel anything. Um, but then about Four-ish, they kept checking on me and I could tell something was up, but because I was so doped up, I didn't, anyway, uh, long story short, I got a hematoma, so, and it was, it was pretty bad, it was pretty big, um, they took the vest thing off that I was wearing, I could see it, and it literally looked like this side is perfect, like, it's so good, and this side was like a giant black boob, it was like the same size as my boob before, I was like, you sure you removed it? It basically looked like they just like beat me up on this side and took off this one. It was really weird. Um, so at like four o'clock in the afternoon, I went back into surgery and I was in for another hour and a bit. And by the time I got out of that one, I was fucked. Like, just I was exhausted and I just slept. And it took me about two days. I took spent two days in the hospital just being really out of it. Um, I was in a fair bit of pain. Um, mainly on the side that the hematoma was. This side's been like the drain side, like it doesn't really hurt. Um, it hurt when they got the drains out of this side, weirdly, but not this side. Um, but that's like it's been really good. Um, so yeah, I went and got my dosing really quickly because I'm really excited. I'm actually not on any pain medication at the moment, so it's not that. I started taking my pain meds yesterday, so day four. Um, I just didn't really feel like I needed them anymore. Um, I've got most of my motion back. I mean, I can't like. Yeah. I'm gonna do it quickly, but I can do it. Um, yeah, when I got my drains out today, thank God, they were awful. Um, I still have the big like foam pads on my nipples, so I have no idea what they look like. I'll find out on Tuesday. I guess I'll show you guys my chest. Mm -hmm. It's like really nice and sunny outside and there's like lots and lots of people. Yeah. I'm gonna pre warn anyone who doesn't like gruesomeness. I'm bruised as fuck. Um and I've got these big like foam patches on my nipples. So this isn't they are not my nipples. When I first woke up I thought that they were my nipples and I was like, holy crap, what the fuck have you sewed onto my chest? But it's not. So Yeah. It's pretty Pretty paranoid that someone's gonna walk past and be like, why does that kid 
don't have a shirt on, so we might as well just be numb. So, yeah. This is what it looks like. Um, five days post up. Um, this is so weird to be naked on camera. You can see my little belly. Um, like I said, these are not my nipples. Yeah, I had double incision. Nipple grafts. Um, I was had a D cup. The 12D course. And yeah. So yeah. Still, this is the side of the hematoma. Um, which has got a lot more bruising. And I can't feel it really. Um, and it's a lot, it's just still quite swollen on the side. Yeah, this side's really flat, but this side's fantastic. I'm in love with this side. It's a bit bruised as well. I had a little hematoma on this side as well, actually. Uh, they didn't have to like, operate on it, they could do something else. I don't know much about medical stuff, but they said they actually had to re operate, so it's a bit like. Um, I've still got my like post surgery belly. I'm just gonna go to the toilet for like a couple of days. Um, I've just been sitting on my pants couch eating food. But yeah. I know it's I know it's pretty gory at this point in time, but I'm really happy with it. And I really, really mostly don't want to use the Clorox but that's my my shirt back on because there's like trees and shit out there. It's awkward. Um Yeah, I really wanna see what my nipples look like because yeah, when I first came to and I was um I looked down at my chest because they were checking for my hematoma thing. And I looked down and I saw them and I was like, it's pretty high on morphine. And I was like, they are the biggest nipples in the whole world. Like, what the fuck? I thought they were going to be smaller than my original ones, which were already really small. I couldn't look at how during the surgery I'd come out with like huge nipples. Um, um I will make a proper one about like everything. I just wanted to give a quick update and say like, hey, I'm really good. I'm recovering really quickly. Um, feeling good. No painkillers. Day five. Um, another four or five days until I get to see my nipples, which is what I'm really like. Well, um, yeah. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Um, if you guys want this look, it's because I'm too proud of it. My bruised, banged up, flat chest. Okay, guys. Um. I love you all. Thanks for everyone's like supportive words and nice stuff people have been saying. Sorry I haven't gotten back to anybody. I've just been... Hi. Okay.